Hi guys. So let's learn this popular song Zarurat, and this is on basically an E minor scale. So let's go through the E minor scale. Right. So E minor is basically a derivative of G major. G major. So a, a quick trick to build a minor scale is on start from the sixth note. So G major sixth. One, two, three, four, five, six. Sare ga ma pa dha. This is your sixth. From the sixth, you play the same notes, and you get a what we call in Western music as a natural minor scale. So in this song, what makes it rather interesting is sometimes the seven or the ni is a flat one or a flat seven, and in some cases, it becomes a sharp. Or a normal major seventh, so that allows us to to go into two scales, which is natural minor, which is the harmonic minor, which definitely makes gives a gives it a very eastern vibe. While so sometimes the vocalist and the chord. Uh, uh, arranger and the composer will hover around this between the D and the D sharp. So that's one interesting aspect of the song. The other interesting aspect of the song is how we can count a, a nice pattern for the piano. And I think this is pretty much a standard in a lot of the modern day pop songs. So I've marked out a groove which you can see here on on the right in, in our notes section. You basically have an eighth note pattern. So one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and however you don't need to play all those beats. You just have to play the one, the two and and the four. So if I clap that out for you, one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and so that's basically going to be all your hits or accents or strike points if you will on the piano or pretty much on any instrument if you're playing chords right now um guitar players do an interesting thing wherein they'll play these accents but they'll also sort of create a um, uh, a ghost note where they don't actually play the chord they just mute the guitar so you'll get a sound like jin 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 too but even they could be focusing on those accents on the piano you can't really do ghost notes that effectively so what you do is just focus on the hits so i'm going to take the first chord of the verse and the chorus and the verse 2 and the bridge which is e minor right so remember e minor it's there in for the most part so you go 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and 2 and 3 and 4 and 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and right so one thing we'll do um uh, unlike some of our earlier videos where we do it from the beginning till the end is let's try and do, start with the chorus since the chorus is the most important and the most popular part of the song and it also repeats uh, a hell of a lot so let's try and take the chorus and um, show show this pattern first we'll do it with navin singing and then after which i'll break it down for you okay so stay tuned all 
the strike points are at that 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and pretty much the same pattern used in a lot of pop songs even if you take like an Ed Sheeran song it's pretty much at the same accent points right a lot of western artists Indian artists well the whole world pretty much seems to believe that uh, that one, two and and four is going to make something really groovy, which it does. Okay, so let's do the chorus now a little slower and I'll call out the chords as I'm playing. One, two, three. One, E minor. C major. E minor. Four times. C major. D major. Let me try doing it by pointing out the chords on the note sheet as well. One, two, start. E minor. C. E minor. C. E major. D minor. E minor. So, yeah, it repeats again, right? Um, now, coming to the verse, again, you can stick with the, the, the same groove. Another way to count this groove is 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2. If you're finding it difficult to catch the ends, that's a nice thing you can try. And uh, we've done a lesson also on this. It's called the 3, 3, 2 pop chord progression which is used in a lot of songs, uh, whether it's Bollywood songs or whether it's uh, the top billboard chart songs as well, right? So in the description, there's that video. Uh, do go ahead and watch that. Not now. Finish this and then watch that. Okay. <clears throat> so moving forward, uh, let's do the verse. The first verse is on the darker side. So he plays E minor and then C major. But what's interesting about that is it's C major with an E bass. So it's E minor, C major. So you stick to the E bass. So that creates a very dark vibe. And all the pre-choruses of the song um, basically have the same common ending. That's A minor, G major, B major. B major again, but you stop the rhythm just hold it there and then back to the chorus so the pre-chorus i repeat is always a minor in that same three three two rhythm g b if you like you can even play the b sus the b suspended chord since there are two b's hold it and then do the chorus right um, so let's try and take up verse 1. There are two unique verses in this song and there's a bridge. So it's good to learn all the sections and in the bridge the rhythm slightly changes. So do stick around. This is quite a detailed uh, tutorial. We're trying to cover pretty much all the parts of this song, right? So verse 1. So that's E minor with C and E bass. your entire verse section um, perhaps let's try this again maybe a little slower so um, you guys can get the chord changes and if you can you know try playing along with me as well okay whenever you're ready
chorus. So after the verse one and chorus one is over, then we go to like a nice instrumental section, which is on the E minor and the C major chords. Same rhythm. So that's a very nice uh, guitar instrumental part, which uh, maybe we can cover at a later video. And then coming back to verse two, right? So in verse two, the chords are slightly different. Please look at the note sheet for the different chords. And the chord changes... Um, are basically quite simple. It's not very difficult. There's an E minor, then an A minor, then a D major, and G going to B. Okay, so that's a quick change. E minor, A mi minor, D major, G and B. And the second time, you don't do the quick change. You just do E minor, A minor, D major, G. And you stay on G. And then our usual pre-chorus comes comes back a minor g b if you want play b sus and resolve it to b and back to the chorus okay however i think in the pre choruses the melody of the vocalist changes a bit that's not going to affect you much on the chord instrument right okay let's do the verse 2 please navi a minor d major the same chorus right so uh, I think that's quite easy so then it goes to a, a bridge part where the guitarist is actually playing power chords so that's like so he's doing pretty much the same 3-3-2 pattern but it sounds a bit more heavier because it's played as power chords which is the root the fifth and the octave so this is the E power chord So the guitar sets it up and then we come in with a bridge. So the bridge, the only different thing which I added was in my left hand, I made it a bit heavier with power chords. However, the right hand accents were pretty much the same. And there's also a very interesting chord, which is the B over D sharp, <clears throat> which I'd like to just uh, show you. You have B major in the right hand and you have a D sharp in the left hand. So that adds a little bit more tension to the, to the bridge section. And generally, a bridge in any song which you hear, whether it's a film song or a pop song, generally in the bridge, you try to do something out of the box. And that's what's going on clearly in, in this song. So it sort of breaks that monotony from the chorus, which, you know, you, you all want to hear again and again. But then it still can get a bit boring, right? So, yeah, it's quite a nice song rhythmically. And... Uh, 
Cordially also some very interesting chords as I said at the beginning it uses the natural minor scale as well as the harmonic minor scale. So a lot to learn from this song and um, it can definitely help you grow forward as a, as a musician. So all the best and have fun playing this. Cheers. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that bell icon for notifications, leave us a comment for any other video you'd like us to do next and don't forget to share the video with all your musician friends. Cheers.